Now, you can begin to start looking at this text, and somewhere along the line, you would get bored. You would say, there's no need for me to keep reading this text about how the tabernacle was built. But if you read the entire text, you will see that God will go down detail to detail about how he wants this tent to be set up. Uh Now, if God can spend this much time in detail, then it's something that we should take notice of. I mean, for real, you're talking about an awesome God who could do great wonders and great, I mean, if he wanted to, he could, and the tent would have been there. The tabernacle would have been done. He is one who called worlds into existence. Surely, he could have just breathed it and it would have happened. But look at this text. He says that you are to make 10 curtains of fine twisted linen. I mean, he's being very specific as to how he wants his place to look. So I had to begin to think that, God, if you're that concerned about something like this, that you would give every detail, every corner, every angle, every inch, every square foot of this place was covered by God's uh, 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 design then we got to stop. We got to stop being involved with the big things in life and start looking at the small, the details. You know, we like to do a lot of things without the details. We want to get places quick. We got prefab stuff already put together, already made. Nobody wants to do the work. Nobody wants to do the process of building. But here God has incorporated the whole process of building. And you got to understand one thing, that if God said it, that's exactly how he wanted it done. Yes, sir. All right. See, All right. the thing about God is that you cannot deviate from God's plan and still expect to be blessed. If God will take the time to specifically tell you how he wants something done, that means that it is of utmost important to him and to you. You need to be, um, you need to feel privileged that he would give you instruction in order to do something. I mean, we, we're talking about an awesome God, a holy God. Yeah. But for him to sit and let man know, excuse me, that this is what I want you to do, it's a great honor. Yeah. Is it not? Yes, sir. It's a great honor to know that the God who sits high and looks low is concerned about us. And it's all in the details. I was looking at this, and I'm like, well, you know, what, what difference do it make if it's 10 curtains or 9 curtains? It's going to cover the same thing. Yeah. What difference if, if it's blue or purple or black or white or yellow? Yeah. Long as it gets the job done, mm-hmm. right? Ain't that how we think? Yeah. I mean, why does it have to be 20 feet exactly? Yeah. Yeah. Can't it just be 19 and a half? You know, I, 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 and I, and it was short in my work. Well. You know, why do they have to be gold class? Can't they just be silver or bronze? Well. You know how much gold costs? Well. Why do we have to follow your word to its letter? Mm. Well, see, you got to understand that if God said it, that settles it. Yeah. Right. Now, if you deviate from what God says, in this particular time, God was what? Destroying folk. So you didn't have an option to deviate from what God told you. If you did not do exactly as he prescribed, he would kill you. Say that again, Pastor. All right, all right. I mean, here we have the the tabernacle being set up. We have the holy of holies, the most holy, and you had certain levels to get in before you could get to the holy of holies. And if you got there before going through the process, stopping at the brazen altar, and you were still unclean, you weren't going to make it to the next level without being pulled back out. Come on, 
So there is a process that God is very much concerned about that he wants us <clears throat> to follow. You ought to make loops of blue material along the edge of the end of the curtain in one set. And then the same way you ought to make loops in the outer edge of the curtain in the second set. Oh, come on now. <laughs> 